Thank you for joining us for this Fox 43 News special report. I'm Alyssa Kratz. It's been 10 years since a Lebanon County woman disappeared from her apartment. 21 year old Courtney Stauffer went missing in the early morning hours of July 29th, 2012. She left her dog, keys, cell phone and purse all behind. Courtney had been out drinking with friends and was supposed to meet her family at the fair that day. When she didn't show, they called police. She was last seen with friends outside her apartment on Main Street in Palmyra. Four days after she went missing, we reported that detectives impounded Courtney's car and that her disappearance was being treated as suspicious. Friends and family held a vigil for Courtney that night, August 2nd, in hopes she'd return home safely. We want her to come home. And if somebody knows where she is, we want us to tell, tell them to tell us where she is because we want to bring her home. According to the FBI, foul play is suspected in the case. Now, in the days and weeks after Courtney went missing, her friends and family searched tirelessly for the young woman, but with no luck. Amber Miller filed this report for Fox 43 just over a week after Stauffer went missing. Search crews gathered at the Palmyra Fire Station at about 12 today, meeting on the inside, learning exactly where each group would search. Family, friends, law enforcement, and several others combing through parts of Palmyra. I think today is about finding out where she's not so we can move forward with where she might be. 21-year-old Courtney Stauffer was last seen at 3.45 a.m. on July 29th. Close to her apartment in the 800 block of West Main Street, Wednesday crews searched a two-mile radius surrounding her home. Just to help out any way I can, that's, that's what we're here for. Scott Stauffer certain his daughter didn't just wander off. She loves her family too much. She's always in contact with her family, at least at least once a day with somebody. When asked what he did think happened, Stauffer said he couldn't comment, but the family attorney did confirm Courtney had an argument with someone that morning. Her dad and everyone here simply hoping for her safe return. There's a $22,500 reward for any information leading to her return. We're still hoping she's out there wandering around, running something good, basically. If anybody out there has anything that they can offer to us, if there's a father out there that knows anything and has a daughter, I mean, that can relate to what I'm feeling and the pain my family's feeling, just make a call, help us out, help us get to Courtney and before something terrible could happen to her. As far as other efforts, Scott Stelfer tells us he will allow the police to take the lead on the very next step in searching for his daughter. In Paul Myra, Amber Miller, Fox 43 News. Through the years, there have been a number of theories about what happened to Courtney Stauffer. One private investigator based in Florida has suggested the Palmyra woman was the victim of a serial killer. Melanie Orleans reported in January 2014 that the investigator believed Courtney was one of 18 women who fit the profile of missing women or women killed between 2012 and 2014. Long blonde hair, blue or brown eyes, and 18 to 26 years old. That's what private investigator Bill Warner says links these 18 women together. I was getting concerned and I started putting this information out because to me it appeared to be a profile of a serial abductor who was looking for a particular type of young girl. Warner began looking into these cases in 2011 with missing women in Kentucky and Tennessee. He says the FBI is already investigating these as individual cases, but wants them to look at it as a whole. Maybe somebody ought to take a step back here and look at these girls and look at the, the appearance of all these girls who look like sisters. It's like a, a family photo. While Lebanon yeah, County I District Attorney that. Dave Arnold wow. says Warner's theory is interesting, he doesn't find any truth to it. He has no factual link between any of these girls other than the fact that they all share some physical characteristics in terms of the, the blonde hair and the blue eyes sort of thing. Arnold says in no way should people feel this is all the act of one person. If we had any indication, I mean any indication, uh, or any concern whatsoever about a serial killer or, or that sort of a thing taking place, we absolutely positively would let the community know about that so they could take the necessary precautions. And while investigators have been trying to crack this cold case for a decade, tips and leads are few and far between. In March 2014, a friend came forward with information that they believed Courtney was killed in her Palmyra apartment and her body was dumped in Memorial Lake in East Hanover Township. At the time, Melissa Nardo spoke to Courtney's father about that new lead. It's been 20 months since Courtney Stauffer mysteriously vanished after a night out with friends. Courtney was a really, really... 
She's an awesome kid. Miss her a lot. Police have yet to find any promising leads or Courtney. Her father, Scott, still struggles with her disappearance. It's frustrating when you have to talk to your children at night and explain to them why nothing's getting done. You know, and you have to wrap your arms around your daughter because she's crying. It's tough. But now new information is giving him hope at closure. A friend who has come forward said Stauffer was killed in her Palmyra apartment and then dumped in nearby Memorial Lake in East Hanover Township. Information that is hard for Scott. It's pretty overwhelming. Like this is in my backyard. You know, my home's very close to here. So um, we walk this lake a lot. Courtney's father has received a good amount of tips, many of which have proven to be far fetched. But he feels there is some credibility to this tip. There's some things that are believable that I believe are factual and it backs up some things that we learned early on. I just like to see it followed through. And I just try to get back through your life at the same time, you know, still trying to figure out where she's at. Her birthday's coming up. It would be great to have some resolution to all this. In East Hanover Township, Lebanon County, I'm Melissa Nardo, Fox 43 WPMT. Now that tip led state police and volunteer dive teams to search Memorial Lake. As Ames Yates explained on April 1st, 2014, they used cadaver dogs as well as a boat outfitted with sonar and an underwater camera to try to find Courtney. Despite their best effort, the search by state troopers for Courtney Stauffer yielded no results. Oh, I know it's been tough for her mom and dad. Courtney's grandmother watched as troopers searched the lake for any sign of her granddaughter. She's been feeling the pain of not knowing what happened to Courtney since she disappeared from her Palmyra apartment in July of 2012. It's a feeling shared with Courtney's parents. They do need closure. I think that would help. It would help their pain. Troopers started searching around 9 a.m and called it off around 2 p.m. I am very happy to see them out there. I'm very happy that all the people are taking an interest in finding her. The search comes after a friend of Courtney's reportedly came forward with information that her body may have been dumped in Memorial Lake, but Courtney's grandmother says she prays that's not the case. Well, you, you do your own conclusions. You do your own dreaming uh, at night when you're sleeping and you have, I have dreams of where she might be. Every year, Courtney's friends and family gather on the anniversary of her disappearance to celebrate her life. Float for Courtney is a chance for them to all come together by floating down the Swatera Creek, bringing awareness to her case. Fox 43's Amy Lutz recapped the 8th annual float in August 2020. Courtney went missing on July 29, 2012. She was supposed to meet her family at the Lebanon County Fair, but never showed up. She was last seen at her apartment in Palmyra. Eight years later, family and friends gathered for the annual Float for Courtney in North Anvil to help keep her memory alive. I miss her laugh, I miss her smile. She always brought so much joy to wherever she was. Courtney's sister says the event brings everyone together to celebrate Courtney's life by doing what she enjoyed the most. Floating is, was uh, one of her favorite things to do. She loved, uh, she was a very much a nature person. It makes my heart and my and my dad and my mom and our whole family's hearts just so happy to see everyone out here and come out and support support us and support our case. Dozens floating down the Swatera Creek, also bringing awareness to Courtney's open case. And while there are still no leads, Courtney's family remains hopeful. Our hope is that someone comes forward, someone speaks up, because that's the only way that this case is going to be going to come to a close and give our family closure. We want our family to be at peace again. And now a whole decade after Courtney disappeared, investigators are no closer to finding her. I spoke to her father and her younger sister who say they're not giving up hope as they mark 10 years without their loved one. We just want some closure for our family and uh, we want to know what happened to Courtney. It's a question Scott Stauffer has been asking since his daughter went missing in the early morning hours of July 29th, 2012. It all started the night of the 28th at Courtney's apartment, which she shared with her then boyfriend who was on house arrest. According to a timeline released by the Lebanon County District Attorney's Office just last week, the couple was hosting a party and Courtney was the only person of legal drinking age. Police were called to break up the group. Her was also taken into custody for violating probation. She took it to heart and got together with some friends that night 
to go out. Courtney bar hopped with friends from Hummelstown to Harrisburg before returning to her apartment with a male friend, Cody Pruitt, at 3 a.m. I really didn't even know he existed, to be quite frank with you, because I don't think he was a good friend. I think she just knew him from the area. Police were called to the apartment multiple times over the next few hours. Courtney allegedly got into a fight with her neighbors, who she suspected called police earlier that night. Neighbors say she was screaming, slamming doors, and making threats. Officers tried to make contact at her door, but got no response. Things had quieted down, so police left. But the next day, when Pruitt woke up at the apartment, he saw Courtney's dog, her wallet, car, and purse. But Courtney was gone. He sent her texts asking where she was and got no reply. Courtney was supposed to meet her family that day at the Lebanon County Fair. She always went with her brother, her older brother, and her grandpa, because they were showing cattle or goats. But she never showed. Her dad says Pruitt was the last person to see his daughter. Yeah, I was quite suspicious, but we haven't been able to to get anybody to slip up. Over the years, searches on land and in water have come up empty. Various people have been questioned, but no evidence has been found to give authorities any kind of lead. None of it makes any sense. A heartbreaking mystery that has left 26-year-old Kirsten Jennings without her big sister. Not having my older sister there to vent to and just talk about just life and boys and my marriage. And um, it's just been a very open gap um, that can obviously never be filled. An open gap filled with questions about where Courtney could possibly be. I just don't hope that she's out there in pain somewhere. Um, I hope that, or I don't hope that she's just um, being tortured somewhere. And on the 10 year anniversary of her disappearance, Courtney's family and investigators remain puzzled. I can only say the biggest, most suspicious lead I would have is the people that surrounded her that night. And that's just common sense. And remain broken. There's a lot of emptiness in the family. You know, there's a lot of, we try to hold each other together. It's all we can do. Hoping someone, somewhere knows something and comes forward. To have to feel what we feel every single day, not having them here anymore. Um, I just want them to look at it from a scope from, from our perspective. Um, and just if you do know something, to please speak up. A $100,000 reward still stands for any information about Courtney's whereabouts. Her father, Scott, tells Fox 43 he's considering raising that amount. And this Saturday, July 30th, Courtney's friends and family will gather at the Swatera Creek for the 10th annual Float for Courtney, keeping her story and name alive. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.